this video we're going to take a look at alignment options in Word 2016. Most of the options in uh, Word as far as alignment are concerned have not changed for quite a long time so uh, this sh should work in uh, quite a few previous versions of Word as well. Uh, we are on the home tab and we are in the paragraph group here and we're going to be looking at these four commands for alignment and you can just kind of tell by the picture uh, what they do. Um, let's and by the way these are paragraph commands they imply or they apply to an entire paragraph so if I'm in the paragraph uh, right now my text is justified let's do left align here or align left is what they call it and uh, you didn't see much here but uh, this line did come in a little bit this line did come in a little bit and uh, let's go down here to the next paragraph and let's try it again maybe we'll see a little bit more difference yeah so here the word my gets pulled in quite a bit so that's left aligned and you get a smooth margin on the left side but you get a ragged margin on the right side um, and I said these are paragraph commands if you're in a paragraph it applies to all the lines in the paragraph uh, if you want to do multiple paragraphs uh, you have to select all of them or at least parts of all of them so let's say I want to do these first three paragraphs here I don't have to start at the beginning of paragraph one I just have to pick some of it and then I'm obviously going to have to pick all of paragraph two and then part of paragraph three and because part of the paragraph is selected uh, the whole thing is basically selected for the purposes of the alignment commands so uh, this one is not yet left aligned so I'm going to click on the align left button up here and now these three are all left aligned these two were before this one is now uh, if you go below this everything is justified uh, let's try the center command here and that will center the text uh, not necessarily on the page but between the margins okay and so it looks like they're centered on the page but what's what happens if I bring this margin marker in say to like four inches then everything here is centered between the margins now the first line uh, is going to be a little different because the first line is going to be centered between this mark and this mark because this is the marker for the first line okay so if I look at this line right here um, you know it looks like it almost fills the whole thing but it's you know it's, uh, it is not centered between this marker and the right margin marker it's centered between this and this um, let me undo that so I get my margin marker back at the six and a half inch mark. Uh, right alignment, I've got the same three paragraphs selected or parts of them, so if I do right alignment, I will get a smooth margin on the right side and a ragged margin on the left. Uh, justify will put smooth margins on both sides by putting extra spaces in between the um, text on the line. Okay, um, and they all have keyboard shortcuts too, and three of the four are easy to remember. So uh, if I want to left align, uh, I'm going to do this from the keyboard now. I'm going to do Control L for left, and it all gets left aligned. I'm going to do Control R for right, and it all gets right aligned. I'm going to do Control J for justify, and it all gets justified. And the one I did not do is for equals, and uh, Word is probably set to show you keyboard shortcuts up here and um, I said equals but center is the other one uh, it's not control C because control C is already spoken for control C is the copy command and that's pretty universal so they couldn't pick that one and the way I remember this is uh, with the word equal actually uh, if something is centered it has equal margins on either side so I'm going to do a control E right now and everything should get centered between the margins if it's the first line it's centered between this mark and this mark if it's all the other lines they're centered between this mark and this mark so those are easy keyboard shortcuts to remember except maybe for the center one uh, there is one other way to do this but I'm not sure why you ever would if you go to the dialog box launcher for the paragraph group here and click on it and we get the dialog box um, we have some options for um, alignment and uh, these are the choices we can do left center right or justify but I don't know why you do that um, if 
you do the keyboard shortcut, which I think is the easiest way, you know, it's basically one keystroke. Uh, if not, everything is here on the Home tab. Right up front, there's no need to go to a dialog box to get the same four options that you've already got here. So um, I recommend using the keyboard shortcuts. That's what I use all the time. And if not, uh, just go up here to the Paragraph group and click on one of these four buttons. And that pretty much takes care of alignment in Word 2016.